OEX dot X. This is called the S&P 100 large cap stocks. That's the 100 companies that have the greatest market cap and they go in this index. And there's only a hundred of them in here. A lot of them pay yields, a lot of them execute well, a lot of them are leaders in other indexes and sectors as well that come out of here. Uh, one of the things, the earnings season has started and the difference between a small cap and a mid cap is that large cap has a way of beating bottom line growth in a lot of names based on uh, earnings on the bottom line outside of uh, called international earnings that get put on the balance sheet. We'll be watching it very carefully. What we will say very carefully though that the large cap had performed for two weeks to an immediate reversal to the 10 and 20 week moving averages. What is bearish about this weekly chart MMT? It's very, very easy as you know that standard technical analysis the 10 week is below the 20 week it's at a major support level it's also about half of the weekly bar right now this particular cycle is about 50 percent ds it's at 51 it runs a little different when we called for reversals up here we were burning at 80 percent overbought so it's not that we're overbought at support level because we're not but the bearish part of it is 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 that the 10 week and that 20 week moving average if we sell through it then stop market orders are going to happen some of the leadership names in here um, are going to are, are going to be a big player during the earnings cycle google's in here up uh, you know we like google and basically google you know did well last week and so did jp morgan and so did young brands so all eyes on large cap stocks growth stocks dividend yield stocks internationally how they report the earnings so you got US earnings and you have international earnings this index is at support it's not extremely overbought as it was over here when we called the reversal but there is a weekly reversal to these support levels if we sell through it then stocks are going to sell more the earnings process will be extremely volatile some will make it some won't um, the price volatility and pre-market futures You'll have gap up days and gap down days. It'll be a roller coaster for the next three good weeks. So we we'll monitor all the earnings in all of these various different sectors that we cover and the various different indexes during the earnings cycle. Weekly reversal to support is in play.